In brief, I'm Bing Chen. I'm uh, currently a professor and research chair with the Memorial University um, of Newfoundland. Yes. And uh, I'm also the uh, you know the director of a laboratory I call the NR Pop, the Northern Region Persistent Organic Pollution Control Laboratory. Yes. I'm also leading a global network I call People. Uh, so yeah. Yeah. The slogan is people create environmental problems. Our people to help find solutions. So okay. people, in short, but the full name is P is persistent, right. E emerging, O organic, and pollution is P L in the environment. The last E. Oh, how so, did you make that to come that bad? I know, I know. Uh, people love it. <laughs> we will create problems. Yeah. There is people. So that's my I, key. That's oh, yeah. okay, got yes. this now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Can you maybe take us back about maybe 20 or 30 years back about your childhood? Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I think <laughs> that's why I chose environmental engineering okay. as my career. Uh, I can tell you I was born in China. Mm -hmm. And my name is very interestingly, <laughs> coincidentally. Oh, that's it also in the, my destination. My Chinese name, Bing, in Chinese is ice. Oh. And in ice, if you write the Chinese letters, the right hand side is water. So that's my destination. I'm doing water research. That's a I love water and now doing water research. <laughs> so you see, that's very interesting. And because my parents, they are working, my dad is a geologist. Oh. So I help, I was, you know, exposed to the nature when I was really little and they brought me into the nature. I love nature, I enjoy, right? Okay. Like a treasure hunting, right? Something like that and picking up the mushrooms, you know, and especially the rocks. That's my favorite. Okay. <laughs> you know what? It's very interesting. Every time I travel, I want to bring some gifts for my family. Yes. And myself, my dad, very easy. Pick up uh, rock. Oh, really? Something special, <laughs> special shape, special color, special formation. You know, that's that's good. It is heavy, <laughs> and I'm heavy. <laughs> Although it's sometimes it's a bit heavy, but uh, you know, yeah, I think that's the really the very fundamental from bottom heart about protecting the nature. And then later on, oh, I got the chance and continue as a career. So I'm really happy. I enjoy my life. Enjoy my work. It's awesome. <laughs> so now I, I don't have a challenge if I want to buy you an, uh, a gift. I just got some. Oh, fun. yeah, yeah. You know that, right? <laughs> Especially I'm teaching geology. Yeah. Oh, I know. So I, I have know. a lot of rocks in exactly. my office and exactly. my lab. And <laughs> my little uh, daughter loves rocks. Oh, so yeah, when yeah. I get her a set of rocks or minerals, she enjoys that. Exactly, uh, exactly. That a lot. My daughter too, yeah. <laughs> Aside from the rock, um, uh, yeah. how what is your school during your uh, childhood? Oh yeah, uh, I think uh, I got educated in China, mm. and uh, and uh, you know till I finished my uh, bachelor and master, and then I came Canada for PhD, right? So uh, I think I am um, really feel appreciated. You know, I absorb the nice, the beautiful, the most important things from both culture. You know, and also the traditional Chinese education and the Western education. So I still quite enjoy you know, the hybridation and I see the benefits from both. Right? So in the childhood, like you said, you know, the, from you know, the schools, primary, junior uh, and high school, uh, I think the Ch Chinese education, very important point is the fundamental training on mathematics, uh, later on, physics, chemistry. Um, of course, at that time, you feel bored. <laughs> too many exams, too many quiz, you know, yeah. practice. But later on, I realized that really helps. Okay. Make your mindset really quick and solve problems. Yep. But on the other hand, you see, uh, I also see the, the, um, the education in Canada, especially. M my daughter was born in Canada. And so I observed education. I realized the difference. Yeah. There's a lot of common in common. Okay. Right. But there's some difference. Like they really 
um, you know, a lot of students, the more freedom to do creative things. Um, <clears throat> so I think that's really good. Yeah. So that's why, you know, if they can work together beautifully, they really yes. can keep up the beautiful balance. You know, fundamental practice, creative thinking, and you know, solve problems. That's yeah. as an engineer, I think our university we are doing yeah. that, right? So yeah. So you see yeah. that an integration between the Chinese education yeah. system yeah. and the Canadian or yeah. the Western yeah. education system, if they merge it together, they would do something perfect. better. That would be perfect. Yeah. yeah, I think it's not only Chinese education, it's more Asia, I should say. Okay. Right? You, if you look yeah. corrupt, right? So it's kind of a common culture, we really enhance the, the practice part, right? Yes. But we also, I noticed that when I visit China now, I talk to my friends, I said from my relatives, their kids now, the school is kind of follow the, the style of what we have here try to give students more time, space to create things, you know, to do things by enhance, you know, and go to the field. I think that's, it's changing. That's good. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So do you remember the first shock that you got when you arrived to Canada or was it most when you came to Canada at the beginning? Yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah. I think the, the, the most important, still, there's many challenges, like the culture shock, you know, far away from home, no one you know except you supplier, right? So um, it, I think that this is why I really appreciate it. Canada is a country really peaceful. Yeah. People are so nice, you know, so friendly. It's, they don't they didn't treat you as a stranger, right? So I think that's, and even our research group, the, the, the faculty, the university, I think that's really the things that really help international students. Okay. You know, yes. easily adapt to the new environment. I think that's part of, I'm also associate dean uh, at our university yes. and our faculty. And looking after the graduate programs and students. This is why uh, I, I personally, I had experience. So I fully understand the new students come here. Everything is new. You know, it's kind of, sometimes it's a little bit scary, right? Yes. So um, even, you know, rent a room and how to contact with telephone company, you know, uh, the power bills, a lot of you things. You know those right? details. I know, the details, <laughs> exactly, the details. Um, that's why I think we also try our best to help the students. Yeah. And also the course, academic, the restriction, you know, different things, scheduling. I think that's really, you know, a change transition. Yes. And another thing is the language, right? Okay. So like in China, we learn English for sure, but the English, what we learned, like even pronunciation. Now you can tell my pronunciation is not purely Canadian, it's still yeah. blended. <laughs> so I think that from the very beginning, the training, because the reality is uh, when I was the childhood, the, the English teacher, they usually trained by UK system. Okay. So you can imagine pronunciation, but later on there are some teachers trained by US. So it's kind of mixed. We got lost. Oh, okay. <laughs> so uh, one sentence you'll see, oh, there may Sometimes be some they accent are... from UK, that's some accent from, <laughs> right? So uh, it's kind of interesting. But anyway, I think that that's, uh, I feel a little bit shocked and then quickly we adapt. So uh, I, I think that that's, this why I appreciate the older sporting system. So what, what do you want to say to those new immigrants or new students coming and they have that kind of fear about the accent and their, their language is not good yet? What message you want to tell them? What I, I want to tell them is, um, you know, I want to encourage them. Speak out, yes. right? And don't be shy. That's important. Yes. Because I, I feel shy, <laughs> right? And then later on I realize it's very similar, you, you, you stand in their position, right? Like uh, of, uh, people visit China. Yes. Don't know how to speak Chinese, they learn. And we always appreciate, oh, that's good. Thanks. Go ahead, continue, right? Similar thing, right? Yes. <clears throat> people appreciate and they're encouraging you. Yes. Speak up, right? So let's talk, right? And then you very quickly you can pick up. So don't be shy, right? People, no one teasing you. 
Yes, actually, totally they, agree. they appreciate, they encourage. Exactly, yes. and this is a yeah. common culture here. I know. We see somebody <laughs> says, oh, we appreciate because we know that you are putting extra effort to yeah. learn this one. And it's an old asset that you, it's not your first language. Exactly. You're speaking it. It's, it's some, not your mother tongue, right? Exactly. <laughs> if you speak better than me, then I will feel shame, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you, yeah. you came to originally to uh, to Canada mm -hmm. to do your uh, graduate study yeah. as a PhD. Yeah. When was the moment that you said, oh, I, I want to stay here in Canada? Yeah, I think it's evolving. Okay. Um, that's why I really, uh, you know, feel grateful to my PhD supervisor, Dr. Gordon Huang, at okay. uh, University of Regina. Um, he's the one really uh, like the lighthouse leading us. And uh, I didn't, in the beginning, frankly, I didn't realize I could become a professor. Oh. But because his training, his mentorship, and also himself as a model, right? Very successful, renowned, global renowned. Professor, okay. a scholar. So I realized, oh, that's a really good, interesting in the beginning. And later on, I really involved. I start do research, publish papers, you know, get recognized. That's important, right? So I feel, oh, that's also I see professor. <laughs> Tell you one of the key reason is, you know that we have the freedom. Yes. I that's guess. the thing I love. Okay. I have the freedom to what I'm interested in. Yes. Right? We have the freedom to, you know, do the teaching, research, supervise students. That's really the fundamental important thing. I think that I really enjoy. And I also see, uh, you know, the, the society, respecters. So I think that's important as a human being. We, we want to get respected. And we have the, you can do, things you are interested and you have the freedom to do it. This is a dream for job. Uh, yes. And then I said, why not, right? So, of course. I totally Of course. Yeah. But uh, on the other hand, when you become professor, you realize you gain the freedom, you also lose the freedom <laughs> somehow, right? <laughs> Every, there's no vacation, no, uh, there's a lot of vacation holiday you can take, but uh, even during the holiday, you know that you need yes. Revise the papers. You need, uh, you know, talk to students. You know, the like, research guidelines. Yes. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, I enjoy. I still. I think this is my dream for okay. job. Yeah. So that, that's amazing that your supervisor and the, the mentor and the culture that was the the main drive for you to yes. think about the academia in general to be a professor and to stay. Yeah. Do you remember the moment that you took the decision? Okay, I'm gonna be a Canadian. Citizen. Do you remember when that uh, moment? Is it after the PhD, during your study? Not during my PhD. During. So you, you realize that early that, okay, you know, this is the culture and the country that you can continue your life. Uh, I think that I'm still very proud of um, being a Chinese yeah, and also being a, a, a Canadian. And even I feel very grateful my daughter also feel the same way okay feel proud of the two cultures um but when i did my phd later stage um and also the reality is there yep. if you are a pr or citizen uh to find a job because there are many job positions there's a priority given the pr or citizens right so and so there's many reasons then we said okay uh, why not Right, so yeah, and I think that's that's really good for uh, everyone. So yeah, yeah. yeah.